What's up y'all? We are back. Well, I am back with another video. So today we are talking about the Renaissance Tour. Okay? So I attended the show that was in Miami, which was August 18th. And I have been looking forward to that day. Okay? In this video, I'm going to talk about leading up to the show. I even have video, uh, videos that I'm going to add to this. It's probably going to be a very long video. I hope y'all watch it all the way through. But I'm going to show you guys videos of me actually buying my ticket. All right, you guys. So we're here. Um, it is... 2.55 I am as you can see I'm currently in the waiting room and we're about to get try to get these tickets and I'm super excited and I can't wait so we got four more lit four more minutes left I'm in the waiting room I got into the waiting room around like 2.53 or 54 so like 10 minutes before I was like already in so make sure you guys go in 10 minutes before screen recording so I could put it up over here on the screen so but we'll be back we got three minutes left I'm getting in this thing this is what it's doing so far so I don't know what's happening I'm scared to refresh I'm scared to go out and come back in so I'm just gonna wait we in there so I have a 1,304 people um, in front of me. Ugh, why couldn't I be number one? You can see, don't mind my nails. Don't mind the background. Just moved in so it's a little messy, but I'm going to be so mad if I don't get what it is that I want, the seats that I want. I'm going to be so mad, but the moment I'm there, and it's all that matters. It's all I care about. Five, and I just not too long ago woke up. I set my alarm so I could get up early enough. Like I got up an hour before, so I could set up my camera, and my lights, and everything, and be logged. And make sure I'm logged in and everything, so I could get get to it. So four twenty. Every time this number gets lower, my heart is just like going down to my stomach. <laughs> oh, 232. 232. 157. If y'all hear noise in the background, ignore it. That's my family. Just talking. <gasps> 75. 75. Let me make a noise. <gasps> One person ahead of me. One person. Thank you for your patience. It's almost your turn. Ooh. It's getting real. My stomach is dropping. I mean, my everything is dropping right now. I don't know how I'm going to insert the clips either before it is, during, or after. I don't know. But just watch the video, okay? <laughs> so, I brought my tickets. And then afterwards, um... Because I really wanted to sit up close. But I'ma just keep it hundred. Okay. I wanted people would say that I you could get the tickets on after pay. And I didn't know how to do it. I couldn't do it. Okay. I had to settle for the nose wave child. I was like, I don't care where I'm sitting, I just need to be here. I've never been in a stadium before. This is my first time going to a stadium. This is my very first concert that I've ever been to. This is my very first Beyonce concert that I ever been to. So I was really excited for this. And baby, my expectations was met, okay? Went in the show. Well, I went, I was early. Um, Cause I was like, I did not want to miss it, okay? I did not want to miss it. So I actually, when I got there, I was like, okay, I'm going around the stadium. I'm standing in line and you know, we get inside, they check our tickets and everything, check bags walk through the metal detector, all of that stuff. So now I'm looking like, okay, where am I supposed to go? So I'm looking at the signs, it's like 300, 200, 100 floor. I'm like, okay, go up to the 300s because that's what I got, you know? 
now I'm looking for the merch. I don't see the merch buzz. I don't. I'm going crazy. I'm. I feel like I'm going in circles trying to look to find the merch stand. Found the merch stand. I stood in line, brought my merch, brought my stuff, and I was just like, okay. I'm like really excited. They playing music. It's, it's just. It's just a great vibe, and I'm just like, you know, I'm. I'm excited. I'm ready. Like. I'm nervous, like I'm feeling every emotion that you can feel right now. I didn't want nothing to drink. I didn't want nothing to eat. I was like, cause I don't want to have to pee. Be having to pee a lot. And then I got to go to the bathroom and I'm missing something. Like when you go to a Beyonce show, somebody on TikTok said this, and this is the truth. It's no moment where you could, you know, you're going to go to the bathroom because even the, but like the videos that comes on when she goes to change or take a break or whatever, those are so aesthetically pleasing and visually pleasing. It's like, you want to sit there and watch that too. So I didn't want to miss it. I'm like, I'm not going to drink. I'm not going to do nothing because I don't want to have to go pee, use the bathroom or do nothing. I'm like, I'm just going to stand right here, sit here. Okay. Beyonce came out and uh, my mom, she wanted me to FaceTime her. So I didn't get the first half. I'm going to also insert some of the clips from the show. She wanted to see her when she first come out. So I didn't get that video. She screen recorded it, but it don't even have the sound on it. So I'm not even gonna add it to it. I remember screaming on the phone. I was like, mom, I think she's about to come out. And as soon as I said that, she was like, Miami. And I was like, everybody screamed. Now, before that, cause I was sitting on the side, like on the side of the stage, kinda not on the side, like my viewpoint was like side view, you know, whatever. We were able to see the dancers go to the back of the stage. We was able to see Beyonce get off of the um, the go kart and walk to the stage. And we were we on our area and our side. We were screaming, going crazy. And I know like the other areas, they probably was like, okay, what the hell is going on? Like why are they yelling? Like we was going crazy because we was able to see her walking to the stage. So she comes out and she is doing dangerously in love. So the cameras stopped recording. <laughs> memory got full so now i have to start when well, i start all over but i don't even remember where i was but anyways the show was good um we was able to see beyonce on the side and see her go to the stage and when she came out we all went crazy um i would say my favorite part of the show would have to be when she does dangerously in love because i love that song a lot i love the way she's performing it on the the tour and how she's doing it it's just beautiful. And then Cozy is also one of my favorite parts of the show in Alien Superstar. Of course, I have to be biased, of course, because anyways, I love this song. Also, my favorite part would have to be the Virgo's Groove, um, like plastic and plastic off the sofa in Virgo's Groove because I'm a Virgo. So, of course, I'm going to say Virgo Groove. Anyways, <laughs> those were my favorite parts of the show. I felt like all the outfits were really cute. Everybody came through. And the thing that I love about this tour is that you can use your imagination however you see fit. You know, it's not, oh, you have to look like this or you have to dress this way or you have to wear this color. Like, it's about just being free and being you. You could be as plain as you want to be. You could be as over the top as you want to be. And I just, like, I felt so good going into the show because it was like I felt safe. I felt comfortable. You know what I mean? Like seeing how people were putting colors together and different fabrics and, and how they were dressing and, you know, how they would remake like her outfits from the tour and just so many different things. Um, it was beautiful to me and I really had fun and I feel like I don't know if Beyonce will ever go on tour again after this, but whether she does or she doesn't, I can can say I went to a Beyonce concert. I had an experience. I was within a few feet of Beyonce and I'm okay with that. <laughs> I was more than a few feet, but anyways, you know, I was there, you know, I was there with her. You know, we both were sweating cause Miami, it was very, very hot out there, very hot. Mother came through and she, she did what she needed to do and it was fun and it was amazing. And I loved every minute of it. I wanted to keep going like after the day after the show, I was just like, oh, like it's over. The show is over now. I'm not going to see her anymore <laughs> until next time. And it is kind of sad when you think about it because I had a lot of freaking fun. I made 
friends with the people that I was sitting next to. Not friends in a way of like, oh, we hang out and stuff like that. I was sitting in between two couples. They knew I was by myself. It was like, you're here by yourself? It's like, yeah, I have friends and family who was here, but they sitting in, uh, sitting in other areas. So I was by myself and I had a lot of fun. I enjoyed myself. Blue came out. I remember the lady that I was sitting next to, she was like, do you think Blue is going to come out? And I was like, I hope so. I said, hopefully school did not kick in yet for her so she could come out. She came out and everybody yelled and screamed. Like when Blue came out, it felt like my eardrums was about to blow. But I'm also screaming as well. So I'm just like, oh my God, like Blue Ivy. Like I remember when you was in your mama's stomach and she was performing Love on Top, like at the VMAs. And like, she's here, you know? So it was just, it was, a beautiful moment so I'm going to add the clips but we're going to get into the merch I'm going to add the clips from the show I'm going to add clips of me buying my tickets whatever the clips I got I'm going to put it in here but this is the shirt that I got I wanted to get the one year anniversary when um she had like the pink hair and then a the pink shirt I wanted to get that one but I ended up not getting that one I ended up getting this one and I low-key regret it because I feel like everybody has it Literally, everybody has a shirt. And before I put it up, I think you already know which one it is. Yes, it's this one. <laughs> everybody have this shirt. And I'm like, damn, I should have got another one. But it's okay. So that's the back and the front. Yeah, and then I was upset because for her birthday, they did the Virgo's Groove shirt. And I was like, really, Beyonce? You gonna do a Virgo's Groove shirt and you gonna sell it during the time where I'm not there. I think it was for the LA show. They had the Virgo's Groove shirt and I'm like, we well, had no Virgo stuff in the merch stand, but now you go over there to LA and you giving them Virgo grooves this and Virgo that. And I'm just like, really? And I made, I'm going to put what I wore. I didn't get like a full body picture because I was by myself. And I just feel like it's awkward going to people asking them to take my picture. Like, I just, I don't know. I just didn't want to do that. But I will put the hat that I did myself. I was going to do like a full on disco hat with the black mirror tiles, but... I just wasn't liking it. And then the hat was too small for my head. So I was just like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna wear this. I brought another hat and I was like, ooh, I'm a Virgo. Virgo's Groove is one of my favorite songs on the album. Why not just do a Virgo's Groove hat? And that's what I did. So I got the shirt and I also have the book right here, the tour book. And this book was $100. Some may ask why did I spend $100 on a book? I just really wanted the book. <laughs> I really, really wanted it. I didn't care how much it cost. I wanted it and I got it and I was like, but yeah, I got this in the shirt. So it's sealed up, but I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i been waiting to do this video to open it. I was supposed to do it literally like the day after the show. But you, if you attended a Beyonce concert, you already know the next day you ain't gonna wanna do nothing. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna record it on this camera. I'm just gonna do it from my phone because my memory card is like filling up right now. So <laughs> and this video already long and I gotta add other clips. So I'm just gonna record this from my phone and me opening the book, showing you guys a picture and stuff. It's not gonna be on this camera. The video will end. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and click the bell to be notified when I upload. And I will see you guys in the next video. Let's get into the book.